Let's head over to the kitchen and check in with Chef Jamil Pineda and John uh, for something delicious we know. Guys. Oddly enough, we're cooking fish today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you're good, good to see you. <laughs> so this is actually a Maryland cod, uh -huh. you know, celebrating the uh, baseball here in Sarasota. Right. So right here, you know, it's going to be a very simple. This is actually in our um, Epicurean menu for dinner. As we do, you know, dinner and lunch. But every, every year, it's a traditional now that we do a Maryland menu, you know, to celebrate baseball. So, and then we come out with some of the things that you would think that you can find in baseball, but some around the city you know, around the baseball stadium. So right here, we're just going to do a nice Maryland cod, you know, and what I'm going to end up start doing right here is adding a little salt and pepper. And then we're just going to do that. And then to crust it, I'm going to add a little bit of oil right here so that the uh, herbs can actually stick to it. And you don't want to put too much. Now you got parsley, thyme, and a little bit of a rosemary in here to be able to get mm. a nice, beautiful herb flavor. And then we made a beautiful um, uh, mussel, uh, kind of like a tomato mussel broth. We add a little bit of butter at the end, almost make mm -hmm. it like almost like a little bit blanc with a little cream and stuff for that. So then I'm going to go ahead and do a little more oil right on top. Even though you got oil in the pan, but you want to be able to make sure that this actually sticks to the fish. So this is going to be act like a, a breading, as it were. Sorry. It's almost like a breading, but it's like more like a little crust, basically. Mm -hmm. So you know, how do you do a crust with uh, nuts and all that kind of stuff right here? So we're just going to have to start doing that. And I'll start this in a medium high. And now, if you can see, the pan is not extremely, extremely hot. The reason you don't want to get it too, you don't want too hot is because you don't want to burn the herbs. You want to make sure they just stick to the fish and give you that beautiful flavor. And you got a ways to go, I would imagine, before oh, yeah, you cook through the oh, fish. There, right? So we're going to start with the farro. What we're looking for the farro here is basically is to make it crispy. Farro is almost like a, uh, uh, a mixture. You know, it's, it's a nice grain. It's, it's a rice grain. But a lot of people can see it like spelt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, so what I want to do here, basically, is I'm going to get some uh, tasso and nice New Orleans. Uh, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, nice New Orleans uh, spice ham. What I'm going to end up doing is going to start right here with the uh, tasso to get the flavor going so we can get a, a nice flavor. Once again, the pan is going to be going to get the little crisp. I got some little pistachios here. And what we're going to be looking for then, I got some uh, snap peas right here as well. So you're going to look for a nice little color on this, and we're just going to start cooking that. Mm. And just get that, uh, the flavor of the tasso, the pistachio, and, the, uh, and that going. And then don't be afraid to add a little oil to this, because we want to be able to uh, cook a little faster, and we want to get that uh, farro in there, and then we want to get it crispy. So when you actually have it in the dish, you know, you're going to have a nice flaky fish. You're going to get a crispy farro, some beautiful um, uh, pistachios. And then we're going to have the nice, beautiful uh, mussel broth. Oh, that sounds awesome. So it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. So, so did you, you, you pre-cook the farro, right? Yeah, I pre cooked the farro. And you cook it, you know, like any, you don't cook it like a rice. You cook it like a nice grain. Basically, you put some water um, on the stove, almost like a pasta style, but mm -hmm. not really. And you add uh, salt, and then you add the, uh, the farro into it, and then cook it. Once you can, you can taste this maybe a little bit al dente. If you want a little co extra cook, you cook a little more. But you want to be able to cook it here al dente so it can get nice uh, crispy, almost like a little popcorn. Got about so, 25 <laughs> seconds left. Yeah, so right there, we're going to let that cook right here. After we flip this, we're going to put it in the oven, and then we're going to have the dish ready to go right there. So and so how long it. do you leave it in the oven after you've uh, taken it off the, um, the You put it about five to six minutes. Five in. to six and minutes. And I got a 425 degrees. And then you top it all up. There is the final product. Exactly. Oh my gosh, looks like you put a little microgreens on there as well. Uh -huh. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Remind everybody, the recipe for this is on our website, mysuncoast.com. How long will this be on the uh, menu, Chef? It's going to be until the end of uh, March. The end of March, and that looks like beautiful fish, I got to tell you. Look at there. Chef Jamil, Michael Sanis, thank you so very much, sir. Thank you. For Always having. a pleasure. Be right back.